Okay, now for question number eight. <clears throat> for question number eight, we have to. This is from basic C34, C34, October 2018, International A level paper. Um, question number eight. We are asked to integrate x times sine x with respect to x. Now, here we have a case of an integration where um, we're not told in which way to integrate. Okay, so they haven't told us what to do, they've given us on a plate. And we can see that we cannot use the reverse of the chain rule here because x in no way has anything to do with the differential of sine x nor of the x inside here. Neither does sine x have anything to do with the differential of x. So it's not of the form um, where you have the integral of oops, the integral of sine x of sorry f that fx times its inter, inter, uh, times its differential okay it's not this type of situation at all okay so we know for sure it's not got anything to do with with that okay you can't use the reverse of the chain rule in this case okay here we have a product of two separate functions a product of two separate um, functions which are multiplied together and in this case, what we have to do here is we have to use um, integration by parts, which is basically derived from the, the product rule when we do differentiation. It's kind of like work back from there. And this is something for which the formula is given in the, in the book, okay, in the formula book that you get in the exam. And this is how it's given in the exam. Okay? I personally don't like to uh, use the formula formally so what I would do here is I'll show you how I how I do it now what I would do is I would call of one I would call one of these two terms u and the other one I'll call it dv dx okay now the one that you're going to call u has to be the one that when you differentiate it it breaks down easily to something that you know can kind of break down and make things easy for us so in this case, the x, when you differentiate x, you get 1, which is, gonna, of course, going to help us. It's broken right down. If I, did take, if I call sine x u, I'm just going to get cosine x when I differentiate it, and then it's going to make life no, you know, no, no more easy. In fact, make life more complicated for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my u as x and my dv dx as sine x. Now, what I'll do is I'll differentiate the u underneath so I'll say that will be u or u dash or we'll say du dx, no problem, as it's written in the formula. So du dx is equal to 1. And v, well, if you, diff if you integrate sine x, because we want to find what v is, we know what dv dx, we've got to integrate dv dx to give us v. Well, the, the differential of sine x is cosine x. And the 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 differential of sine x is, is co cosine x so the integral of and the differential of cosine x is, si is minus sine x the differential of, of cosine x is minus sine x that means the integral of sine x is minus cosine x okay they're reverse of each other okay so now we've got everything we need so we can say the integral of x times sine x with respect to x will be given by now this is how I do I, I always multiply this by this first okay if I've written it in this form I go down diagonally so it's going to be x times min minus co cosine x x times minus cosine x minus the integral of this times that which is minus cosine x times 1 with respect to x when I work that out I'll get my answer so you've got x times minus cosine x, which is minus x cosine x. Now that minus, I'll write it out here, will become a plus the integral of cosine x with respect to x. Now when you integrate cosine x, you get plus sine x, because the differential of sine x is cosine x, so the integral of cosine x is sine x. So you have minus x times cosine x plus sine x, and as this is an indefinite integral, don't forget to write at the end your plus C. And there